Sabo is a third Dan Black Belt in Taekwondo. All five of his wins have come via knockout. So watch out for that striking ability that he showed so very well last time out against Bashia. There's another 100% finishing rate. I'm gonna have another exciting fighter in Jimmy Yabo. How big a difference can the age difference make here, Mitch? You know, it just, I mean, the experience, the comfortability, the, you know, the, everything that comes with getting time in the cage. Yeah, the age might have a little bit, you know, you might slow down a little bit, the injuries might hurt you, and you know, you know slow you down, but, you know, you're only as young as you feel, Steve. That's what they tell me. <laughs> and we'll keep believing it, right? <laughs> Jimmy Yarbo just throwing in that left hook there, caught the guard of Ma. But you just got an early sign of what he can do with those hands. Ma's definitely a lot more composed this time. He's not rushing forward. He's not really leaving himself exposed with those big shots. He's taking his time because everybody knows how dangerous Yabo is. Yeah, he's not, he's not happy, is he, about getting within range, Ma. He's, he's certainly not skirting around. He's not avoiding the, uh, the issue. But he, he doesn't want to get in there and stay in there. I think Jimmy Yabo sent a message around the one championship world with that last win of his. You know, in his last fight, Ma, you know, got into a firefight with his opponent and he came out on the wrong end of it. So I think he learned a lot from that. Take his right, time, be right. composed, and he's learning at such a fast rate. You know, and that is, it's evident right here. He's taking his time, you know, making sure he's understanding his distance. And he's covering up nicely when Jimmy Yabo unloads. That right hand from the orthodox stance. He locked that up nice and high. Just saw it again there with the kick coming in. I like how Yabo uses that front kick. He's using it not really as a push kick, but attacking with his toes. He's attacking with the ball at his foot. It's just, it's a really sharp strike. Bringing that guard down as well, I think, so he can attack upstairs. So there's that left hook. He likes to throw that left hook, so he's utilizing the right push kick, and that left hook just possibly set something up. to be, you know, get comfortable and find his distance, find his range. And when you're a third degree black belt type of Mano, you're gonna have that comfortability in your feet. And Jimmy Yabo caught Ma with a right hand as he came rushing in and just gave him a nod after that as if to say, yep, try that again and I'll catch you again. Ma was just fortunate that he was moving in the direction of the punch, so he didn't really take a full force at the blow that was intended. But it landed. Jimmy Yabo's got a really lightning fast jab that he's throwing out there, but Maja Wen keeps that right hand nice and tight to his head, and he's using it to deflect a lot of these jabs. Really, offen really effective defensive strategy from Maja Wen. Now he's starting to push forward. I think he feels a little bit more comfortable. Maybe he realizes that the punch, the punch his shots ain't hurting him. Just warming to the task a little bit now, Ma, isn't he? Action! Was only kind of throwing these one shots, one jab, one hook, one kick. I like to see him put some combinations together. You know, go to the head, go to the body, go to the legs, mix things up a little bit more. Very switched on, both of these two. Full focus. A minute and a quarter left of the opening round. You can just see the eyes of Jimmy Yabo are so intently yeah, focused, yeah. like you said there, Steve. He's like trying to stare a hole into his soul. Great imagery, and it's so true, isn't it? Oh, left hand unleashed for Ma. And for the first time, there was punches exchanged with bad, bad intention. Nice connection by, you know, Ma as he came in with that jab, tried to throw a right hand behind it, but didn't quite get it. Yabo switching to Southport occasionally. Back and forth he goes, seems comfortable in either position. Stands a little bit square on, though, from the waist up. 
Being able to switch stances like that is just so effective. You're constantly confusing your opponent by giving him different angles mm. and different things to look at so he can never get settled into your position. So it's just really effective. It's like that new breed of fighter that's coming out that's constantly changing their stance. You know, this left jab from Jimmy Yarbo towards the end of this first five minutes. Judges will score this contest in its entirety over the course Time. of the 15 minutes, so they won't look at the round-by-round -round scores. It's not how we do it here. By far the best way to score a mixed martial arts contest. Enjoy watching that round, Mitch. It was a, it was a game of chess as much as anything else. They, they just eased themselves into it. The pace picked up in the, in the final third of that round. Look at this young man, 19 years old getting the crowd involved. That very fair complexion of his, totally unmarked, in contrast to Jimmy Yabo, who's got a little welt there on the right-hand side of his forehead, no doubt right, as a ready? consequence ready? of one of those left hooks Fight. from Mar. Yabo describes himself as a freestyle kickboxer. He, as you said, Mitch, he's been putting those kicks to good use, hasn't he? He has, but he's not really, first of all, he's not really hurting Ma with these kicks. He's not really causing any damage. He's not really attacking the legs. You can see the movement of Ma Jia Wen seems unimpaired. The first spinning strike we've seen from Jimmy Yabo, that's showing us that Taekwondo base of his. But he's primarily using the push kicks, you know, a few leg attacks here and there, and just those single jabs. You really got to put punches together in bunches so that your opponent doesn't really know what's coming. But he stands there and he sees these one strikes. He can easily deflect each one of them. But he came to see that was it. That actually connected. He threw the jab and then he came over the hand with the right. Yeah, left, left, right. And that connected. Just tucked in another little left hand tie, there. Tie. That caught Ma in the eye. Of course, a, a finger in the eye is um, a foul blow. No, no hint that there was any tension there from Jimmy Yarbo. But the uh, cost time. will give Ma Jian sure. Wen injury time. Okay, Five okay. minutes. Sure. Okay. And you can see yeah, there no. Jimmy Yarbo apologizing. So he what? clearly felt that uh, yeah, yeah, his finger had strayed right. into What's the out? eye right, of the man. Ready? Fight! But Ma didn't need those full five minutes. He's fine to carry on. Now Yabo's starting to pick things up. He goes to the inside to the leg, goes up high with to the head. I'd like to see more of this. He's finally got a fighter that's going to stand in front of him. He's caught his left hand and he's drilled him with a couple of rights. Put his left leg, I should say. Must be a bit of a shock when you unleash a kick, a kick and then suddenly can't bring your leg back down and then in come those studding right hands. Nice, that was a good leg attack. It would slow down the movement if he continues landing those leg shots. Throw a couple hands, go low to the legs. Especially if we, if we do hit the third round, it would slow down Ma Jia Wen's movement. Ma Jia Wen throws a leg kick of his own. Action! You know, it really depends on a fighter, like the fighter's strategy coming into this time. Because sometimes when you see a grappler versus grappler, it ends up being a striking battle. But, you know, rarely do you see a wrestler want to engage in striking with a striker, you know? So he's playing his game. You know, maybe he feels he's a better striker than Jimmy Yabo. So Ma Jia Wen is comfortable standing on his feet. And we've seen it before. Ma Jia Wen likes to play with fire. He's in a, comfortable to stand there and trade with anybody. Yeah, he engaged then, didn't he? Certainly got, got trading. Threw in that right hand. There's a lot of potential in that right hand. Just needs to have a little bit more confidence in being able to land it. If you look at the significant strikes landed, then Jimmy's kind of landing a little bit more. You know, he's, he's touching you know, Ma a little bit more in the chin. Not really any damage shown by either one of these fighters. The only real damage seen is that uh, mark you alluded to a little bit earlier there, Steve, on the top of Jimmy Yabo's forehead. Ma definitely wary of Yabo's power. You can see it in his movement and the way he covers up. He's not willing to trade, not really. Too much respect for Yabo's power, but speaking of power, that right hand, it was lovely and short. A 
and spray went flying off Jimmy Yarbo's head. As if to accentuate the power and the, and the cleanness of the hit. You know, Maja Wen, he's got a good chin, you know, so he should believe in it and kind of move forward, throw some heavy combinations and really try to go full tilt boogie on this fight and see if he can put him away. Because you see Yabo's kind of moving back, but th definitely Maja Wen's controlling the distance, controlling the cage, and you know, he's planted himself in the center. But Yabo's so dangerous when it comes to moving backwards. Oh, left jab from Ma follows it up with a right. Yabo though covers up well and slings a couple of punches back towards the man from China. See, I don't know if that crowd kind of blew and got to Ma Jaw Wen a little bit, because now he's starting to put it on Yabo a little bit more. Well, Ma wants to impress his people here. Left hand from him. Nice clipping shot. Just caught Jimmy Yabo at the back of the jaw there, and that was a good stiff left jab as well in the final half minute of round two. Ja Wen's only been hit with like maybe three or four strikes because of that right hand is deflecting strikes. There's one that he got caught with Good, right there. Solid left jab, wasn't it? From Yabo. It's a really engaging contest in the stand-up. And a right hand slung in from Yabo gets hit on the counter. A nice exchange there in the last 20 seconds from these two. Really enthralling contest to watch. Ten minutes down, five to come. Here's some of the action from that first round. Second round. You can just see that after Yabo caught that kick, after, uh, sorry, Maja Wen caught that kick, and Jimmy Yabo just kind of pushed Maja Wen away from him. But here's some of the action from earlier. And they're just, just throwing these big shots at each other, just narrowly missing these big strikes that are coming in at him. And you gotta wonder, is Maja Wen gonna use any of this wrestling, any of this national caliber wrestling that he's known for, but he primarily uses that is defensive. So if he doesn't have fighters getting close to him in the clinch, he's very content to stand there and bang. And that's what we're seeing tonight. I've not really seen any great ambition on his part to turn this into a wrestling contest. You know, he said he was inspired in the young age by some of the early the, the Chinese movie stars. He likes that action. He likes the, the fancy strikes. So that's really what he's showing us here tonight is, you know, a little, is, is more boxing than really anything else. It's good for him that he's got that in his locker. He can fall back on that if necessary. But I, I agree with you. I think he wants to keep this standing up. Perhaps he challenge himself against this man who is so, so at home standing up and unleashing kicks and punches. Yabo transitions into the southpaw stance, and uh, maybe he'll give it up. Oh, just... Couple of slapping kicks from Yabo, follows it up with a third, a spinning back kick. First two were aiming for the rib cage on the right-hand side of Mark Jowen's body. He's a little bit more effective when he switches to southpaw and he starts throwing those kicks. I wonder if something, maybe something's bothering him in his leg, but now he's going back to it now. Oh, he got caught going backwards. He was hit while he was stumbling. Probably looked worse than it actually was, but there's no question he was caught flush on the jaw there. Big overhand right land. Oh, and they're unleashing now, Mitch. Now this is the Maja win that we've come to see in past fights, to stand there and swing heavy leather. Throwing caution to the wind, and I think that first punch actually caught Yabo on the nose. It's severely reddened now. Looking perhaps a little bit flatter than it was earlier on. That's never a good thing, the nose is getting flatter at a fight. Especially if the commentator can pick it out from distance. Fight! It certainly livened up. The scorecard's got to be pretty close. Even just distance controlling the more significant strikes he might be giving a slight edge to Maja Wen, but really, if he wants to put the exclamation point on this fight, he's really got to let it all go and not you know, hold anything back. You never want to go back into the locker room realizing you didn't give everything you could have. Yeah, that sense of urgency that so often comes in the third round where cardio doesn't seem to be as much of a factor as it can be. These two now fight. opening up a great deal less cautious than they were in that first five minutes. You can see how Mar is now inching forward. That's what this game the first round. Yabo finds himself on his back. Mar jumps on top of him. What can he do from here? Is this where the wrestling comes into play, Mitch? The elbows, the forearms come down on the head. It's 
all about... It's all about damage inflicted at the moment, using his chin just to control the head while his arms are all tied up. Nice little transition into full mount there. It was a beautiful sweep as, you know, Dabo was spinning around. Now the big elbows come down. It's all over. Improving his record to three and two. A fight that just built up from steady chess gradually to a level of excitement that got these fans on their feet. And then for the first time in the contest, where we went to the deck, Mar just finished it off. That was a beautiful sweep as Jimmy Yabo came around with a spinning kick. Macha went, swept out the supporting leg, knocking Yabo to his, the floor, and then just jumped all over him with some brutal ground and pound. Damaging forearms, damaging elbows. That did the trick for Macha Wen. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Vivian Gost calls to hold this battle. Two minutes, 31 seconds of round number three. For your winner, via referee stoppage due to strikes, Macha Fish, we all love different styles of fights. We're all fans of the different ways that a fight can go. Personally, I adore seeing those stand-up contests.